Hey everyone, it's Will from MomentumGroup.Tech. I just want to share a very simple tip that I found, which is really very cool. Um, it's how to use multiple option sets when you are choosing to filter, do a search for. So the scenario I've got is I have a number of uh, user roles in my app. I've got client, team member, and manager. And what I would like to do is show all the team members and managers in this search. So how do I do it? Well, in this case, I'm actually lucky. I can use this option where the role is not client, but in other scenarios, you can't use this sort of negative logic. So you have to explicitly state what you want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna alter this and show you a way we can accomplish this. So what I can do is all of these initial operators up the top, these are all about single things. So comparing one thing against another thing, single items. These two down here, is in or isn't in, these are about comparing lists. So role is in a list of, in a client or isn't in. The thing is, these won't work. If I just do that, I get the red error. And the problem is that this is not a list. This is a single thing. So how can we make this a list? Well, it's actually pretty straightforward. What we can do is we can just say converted to a list. And now this is a list. So I can use my list comparison operator. And what I wanted to do, remember, was have I want all the users where the role is in, not client, but actually let's go and get another option. So role, option set, team member. Convert it to list, add, oh, sorry, I always get add and plus confused, plus item manager. And now I have a list of role option sets with an additional item manager at the end. So using this tip, I can say when my role is in this list of roles, team member, team member or manager. And this will treat this as a list as opposed to just a single item. So this is the way that you can do comparisons in your do a search for on a list of option set options. Thanks for listening.